Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profotech Solutions team. I am Sanjay. In this video session, we are going to use Sweet Alert. And what is Sweet Alert guys? It is a type of alert box which just used by developers to give their messages in a custom way by giving bootstrap classes in amazing way. Let's take an example of that. Before using it, let's this is the official website guys that actually bootstrap or sweet alerts provides its library file which we have to download before using it. Just scroll down, click on that. Now I am clicking on a primary button. As you can see, it is a popped up message. Click on info, this is another message. So these are the boxes guys which provided by sweet alert. How sweet it is. It is managed by bootstrap and jQuery files. Success. So these are the beauty that has been created by Sweet Alert. Simply in our this is our program and this is the button when we are going to click and this is the file that we have made so far without using Sweet Alert library files. Just click that. As you can see guys this is the custom message that we have written also. But we haven't attached sweet alert library files to this box. This is not sweet as as we can see these boxes. So to make our custom messages to look like this we need to use sweet alert library files. So where we find sweet alert library files? Just type sweet alert to Google. Click on the first link as you can see sweet alert for bootstrap. After clicking this, you get the link of GitHub page. On going to GitHub page, just you click on clone or download. Just click on download save or by using terminal command, you can clone it by here. Also, if you are a terminal user, then typing the following command boa install bootstrap suite alert, you can download the library files. Before making this video guys, I have actually downloaded the sweet alert files by going to github and just click on this button. This is the file that you got after downloading. I have downloaded before making this video and after downloading you get actually the zip file. First you have to make unzip of that I have made. Just click on that. Undergoing disk folder, just click on that. You have to choose two files. One is CSS file and other is one of them JSS file. This is the minified version of Sweet Alert JS file. You can use either according to your need. So just I am using Sweet Alert.js and CSS file. Just make copy of both and paste to your root folder. Now this is the file in which we are going to code. This is a simple file as you can see we have so far linked bootstrap CSS file, jQuery files and bootstrap.min.js file. These all are the live URLs as you can see for now. And this is the simple button that we have made. We have provided BT and BT primary as a bootstrap class. And here is some jQuery code that we have written on button click event. When we click this button then hello OWT message popped up as you can see just click on that this is the message that we have written now we are going to make our custom message by using sweet alert so to do so we need to include the two files which we have copied so far bootstrap.css file sorry sweet alert.css file and sweet alert.js file these two files we need to create these two links into our main file just make
Now we have linked our CSS file of Suite, Suite Alert and JS file to both to our HTML page. Let me check that where it is giving an error or not. Inspect for now. Now we are fine. Because of slow network, this is giving actually the bootstrap student classes loading error. It's not our business for this video session. Just leave this. Now we are going to use Sweet Alert to our custom HTML page. To use Sweet Alert to HTML page, you need to include SWAL method. SWAL method. This is the method actually the Sweet Alert.js file provides to include custom popped up screen to our HTML page. Go to its documentation section. Just scroll down. As you can see, if you need to include, just click on try it. If you need to include this message, then you have to use this. Just copy of that and paste it here. We want that when our button was clicked, when our button has been clicked, then after clicking this button, we need hello WT message. Just implement, write your message within SWL method. After clicking on button, we will get hello WT message under sweet alert box. Just save this file and go to your browser, refresh this page. Just click on that. SW is not defined because sweet alert.js file has not been linked successfully for now in our HTML page. Let us check that. Here is sweet alert.js file. Okay, it's in src attribute. Sorry, this is our mistake. href. Just save this file and control F5 to refresh. Just click on that. As you can see, this is the custom message that we have written and within SWAL method and this is Sweet Alert. To customize Sweet Alert according to your need, just go to its documentation section and what's your need, just copy of that text. If you want the message to be appear like that, just click this function from here and paste within your event function. Here is the message that we have written so far within SWAL method. Go to browser and refresh your page. Just click on click me button. As you can see this is the another custom message that we have written. Now we are trying something different in that. To implement this type of sweet alert just copy this function. Go to your HTML page and paste it here. Control S to save. Just go to your browser and refresh your page. This is the message that we have written. Now we are going to change the icon of this pop up box. By default, the third parameter when success represents the tick sign. Now we are going to change something like info. Just refresh this page. As you can see, the icon has changed. So according to your need, you can customize your own buttons by reading its documentation. Now we are trying to use this function. Just copy of that and paste it here. Let's make some formatting to that. Save. Just go to your browser and refresh this page. This is the another message guys that we have implemented by copying this function to our HTML page. Now copy this text again to make the clear vision about this parameter.
as you can see guys good job is the title that we have written into the first parameter as you can see we have supplied the second parameter you click the button is the second argument that we have written as a message it's a title it's a message and which type of icon actually we want to show for now success has been saved if you want to show something info then we can see so according to your need you can use either of these options for better use just go to sweet alert web official website download its library files and enjoy their functions as you can see good documentation actually made by the sweet alert so according to your need guys you can use sweet alert on the purpose of your events handler so this is the video session guys that i have made while tell you the how actually you can use sweet alerts into your custom html page because if you are not using swal mean sweet alert functions in your file then definitely you will use about alert functions alert functions actually guys does not give such type of effect like sweet alert because it's a simple message as you can see without any css and without any icon design so to provide a user interface good in interface to your user by design point of view you should use sweet alert to your custom html page so guys i hope you understood the video session about sweet alert how you can use it what are the custom ways that you can customize your sweet alerts all the ways we have seen so far one more thing guys i tell you that when you find online web tutor on youtube then you can find several playlists we have made for you you can learn backbone.js tutorial all types of customizations of wordpress you can learn from here like theme options development plugin development visit development as well as theme development there are several many ways of videos that we have provided for you to free to learn and grow your skills so guys in later video session we will see something extra programming trick something new which grow your skill so for this video session guys thank you for watching have a great day